Cause now we just see everything we believe We just see Everyone, this DBG here. Hey everyone, this is DBG here, and today you can tell I actually have a massive pimple right on my chin right there. But today I'm not gonna be talking about pimples today. Today I'm gonna be talking about another contender to the protein shit. Now, what's the difference between this and Quest? Quest Bar is a definitely a lot more uh, sorry, Quest Protein. It's definitely a lot more powdery. Um, it does have that distinction that yeah this is definitely made from protein powder which is not I'm not a big fan of they don't use enough um, potatoes or even potato starch in it to give it an actual chip flavor what's good about this um yes there's actually technically more carbs in this I'm not it's not a lot and they do uh, change it up they do go with a pea protein base uh, this is Protez it does uh, you know promote 15 grams of protein per bag which is actually not too bad compared to what it is it's only 120 gram 120 calories it's actually not too bad this is the zesty nacho they really do put the actual nacho flavor in this I don't know why a lot of places do a lot of foods when they say hey you know this is healthy and you know it's protein but you know uh, we're not gonna put a lot of powder in it. It's like, what the hell not? Just do it, add a little extra. We don't care about the damn salt at this point. We know there's already gonna be a ton of salt in this, so just put an extra 100 milligrams because we don't freaking care at this point. I just want my damn chips that taste decent. So anyways, um, when it does have the taste, they still have that powdery taste to it uh, as you're still eating protein, but not as too bad or as too uh, strong compared to the Quest Protein uh, chips. It does have four grams of uh, 4 grams of, of fat, 7 grams of carbs, and 15 grams of protein. Uh, three of those uh, carbs are dietary fiber, and it's not too bad. I've had actually better. I'm going to try to get some Benitos uh, here pretty soon, so I will try those out a little bit more, give it an actual a third taste to it personally. I like them, but you know, you never know. Um, it does focus more heavily on the pea protein, like I said, that is the first ingredient. The next will be potato flakes, sunflower oil, guar gum, which is, you, you see that a lot. Seasonings, it's probably more of the, the actual nacho stuff. It doesn't, and the seasoning somehow has coconut oil, sea salt, nutritional yeast, which actually, that's interesting. Tomato powder, onion powder, yeast extract, blah, 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 mostly flavors to that. So actually when it comes to the ingredients, I'm actually very proud of. Um, I'm actually paying for something, some actual quality ingredients here. This costs about $2.50 per bag at your local um, GNC and it does promote vegan right here as you can see right here, which is one of the very few things I will go vegan You can't really put You know uh, a milk based protein in your uh, Chips, that's why I believe that you get more of a powdery taste to it I don't know that I've only tried two different types. I will find another one and try it out Maybe it's actually be a little bit different. So taste it's pretty decent Ingredients really really well good. I probably XA excellent. My dog is destroying my house now But when it comes to nutritional uh, value and facts definitely on point with what you actually want. Okay Okay, he's just eating his uh bone. So I would say yeah, give this a shot um, Don't buy a ton get your one first and then maybe buy a few more, but that's your personal choice This is DBG and that was the protest protein chip